of junk. This is the bed. And that's sponsor, you guys. <laughs> All opinions are my own, as always. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. Today, today's video is not a Bath and Body Works haul. It's not. It is a MT's video, and I have a lot, lot of stuff. So if you were wondering, I call my MT videos woes or once because to me when I say whoa is something that I really did love when I said wah I mean you can see my facial expression here so let's roll to it and I hope we first we have this herbal essences body wash body burst with citrus essences body wash just a body wash so what it looks like I love the packaging and I love the smell something that I didn't like it was the fact <sighs> smells nice that it actually has have to use a lot to actually get to actually get bubbles and as much it smells really good though next Oh, by the way, this is a, uh, <laughs> my baby is all over. This is the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume in the limited edition packaging. <sighs> this perfume is everything to me. I love it. I use it every single day. And I love it. I am going to be repurchasing this. I can't live without it. I already have Minogestic right there, but um, I love like this was the first perfume that I ever got, like from her line, and I love it. Love it so much. This is a whoa for me. Next up, we have this. This is the Every Scent Argan Oil Hydrating Hair Mask with Macadamia. This is what it looks like, and you guys, this left my hair amazing i loved it it was so soft and amazing i just and this is a whoa for me we're putting that to the side then i have this first aid beauty ultra repair cream intense hydration for dry patch skin i got this in my september ipsy bag i believe it was the hydration was there, but the scent, I cannot stand it. It smells to me like dirty makeup, old makeup, expired makeup. That's what it smells like to me. It's nothing, I mean, I love the hydration, but uh, it's a one for me. I don't like it. It's what it smells like to me. It's nothing, I mean, I love the hydration, but uh, so one for me I don't like it next we have this bad boy that I did a review on it on my channel this is the chapstick total hydration in coconut hydration this was awesome you guys I will be repurchasing this and I want to try it on the other scents that they have just comes in a two form but if you can see doesn't move yeah. I only used it for like three weeks and it was gone so this is really good I really really do highly recommend it this is a whoa for me don't be reporting this line so if you have any suggestions for me please then let me know in the comments down below I also have the body mist I have the body mist and the hand gel which this one I really did love I love it so if you have any suggestions for me from products from Bath & Body Works please let me know, know in the comments down below these were really good they were well but I didn't like the smell so I won't be using them again so it's a eh, for me Woo. <laughs> 
next okay i almost got a panic attack when i found out that my favorite nail polish of all time was all over this is the sephora think big nail polish this color is so gorgeous it's like nude but with pink and i tell you guys you have to pick this up so this is definitely a whoa for me let's move on i gotta move fast i don't know why okay next i have this avon footworks i can wait get on me wow for me next i have the other end go figure i have the other one don't worry next we have this mini chicks i don't know what this is but this detangled my hair so fast and easy it was amazing i loved it and i highly recommend it to you you can get this from the catalogs from essica i believe or Lavelle, something like that but i truly did love it, it was this is definitely a whoa for me i have like three bottles of this i wish they have it in bigger size because to be honest you can be done with this stuff like in three weeks or something like that so it's really good next we have some mascaras i have these two mascaras that run out and they this one is dry and this one is all over but this one was in the color black brown so i didn't like it as much so this is the maybelline Co the colossal volume express i gotta be honest this one i didn't like as much i don't know what it was but i, I don't know it was kind of weird i like that full fan effect volumizing lengthening everything so that's a wow for me but this guy this is the super sizer by covergirl and this guy is amazing you can get full lashes i don't know if you want for me next i have the other end go figure i have other one don't worry next we have this mini chicks I don't know what this is but this detangled my hair so fast and easy it was amazing I loved it and I highly recommend it to you you can get this from the catalogs from Essica I believe or Lavelle something like that but I truly did love it, it was this is definitely a whoa for me I have like three bottles of this I wish they have it in bigger size because be honest you can be done with this stuff like in three weeks or something like that so it's really good next we have some mascaras I have these two mascaras that run out and they this one is dry and this one is all over but this one was in the color black brown so I didn't like as much so this is the Maybelline Co the Colossal Volume Express I gotta be honest this one I didn't like as much I don't know what it was but I, I don't know it was kind of weird I like that full fan effect volumizing lengthening everything so that's a one for me but this guy this is the Super Sizer by Covergirl and this guy is amazing you can get full lashes i don't know if you this is the elizabeth arden visible difference skin balancing exfoliating cleanser Woo! that was so tough this was really good you guys but this is a sample a deluxe sample and i ran out really really quickly it says 1.7 fluid ounces so I don't know if this was the full size or it was sample. My mom gave this to me by the way, so that's why I don't know. Because she did give it to me. I did like it. I will repurchase this. Yeah. This is a woe for me. 
let's move on to this Maybelline New York Shine Free Loose Powder. It's all gone, as you can see. I have it in the shade Light, and it was really good. The only thing that I didn't like was the cap, because one time I left it on my makeup bag, and the cap, I don't know how, it got open, and all the powder was all over my makeup bag. So that was an uh-uh. And I like this one, but I like my NYC Smooth Powder better. So I will be keeping that one instead of this one. That was a nah for me. Next up, I have this Wet n Wild Wild Sheen Nail Polish in black. I love black nail polish. You guys know the drill. And this was really good. It lasted me a long, long time. And it was only $1. I believe it was so that was definitely a will for me I will be repurposing rebuying this one I can't speak today you guys I am so sorry next up we have this Essica glitter liner and I gotta be honest this is the color spark this is not over you guys but I hated it I hate it I hate it I hate it it comes Hashi, as you can know, it doesn't have a straight line like the Urban Decay ones. No. I didn't keep using it. I bought it because I wanted to, I wanted to do some shimmery, glittery makeup looks for New Year's Eve. So I thought this was, good. this was going to be a good option for the Urban Decay ones. But I hated it. This is a one for me. Next up, I have two more chapsticks. This one is Toasted Coconut Lip Balm. I don't know the brand, but I got it for $1. And the other one is a Revo Lip Balm. It's totally out. I love this one. It smells so good and so amazing. I love it. Last but not least, I have this Lebel Hydro Calm. I did a review on this and it has so much views and I thank you so much guys. So guys, last but not least, next is this Nutella jar that I had for Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, oh.